I know you gonna dig this. Get, get, fu- get funky with me. What's going on everybody? How are you doing today? Here I am in Encino, California on a very, very busy road. It doesn't appear, you can hear how busy it is. But I'm telling you, during the day, like this is a little uh, into the evening right now, I'm just looking off, see the cars, happen. but it would be packed. I've been on this road before, Parthenia Street here in Encino. And it is, right now, a little, little kind of busy. And I'm parked very illegally. Being a bit of a risk taker, a bit of a rebel, quite like the subject of today's video, Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor, one of, if not the greatest stand-up comedian of all time. One of the biggest movie stars, Stir Crazy, The Toy, Muppet Movie, Harlem Nights, Richard Pryor, all of his live stand-ups. When you think about Richard Pryor, you think about how much of a trailblazer he was. Without Richard Pryor, we would still have Eddie Murphy, uh, Jeff Ross, David Spade, Chris Rock. We still have those comedians, but would they have been willing to take the risks on stage without Richard Pryor doing it first? Without, you know, with profanity and saying things that you have never heard before. You know, we, the audience has never heard before. Would, would those comedians would still be around? Sure, comedy would still be a thing, stand-up comedy, but Richard Pryor, did it in a different way and became one of the most successful comedians of all time. And one thing that he did that was absolutely bizarre is he had a very bad addiction to free basing cocaine and it was in this house right here where he lit himself on fire and ran down this street. Now, a lot, now let's see if we can get across here, get, get up to Richard Price's driveway a little bit closer. Play a little frogger here right now. This is a huge, huge property. Now, a lot of people think that when Richard Pryor died in December 2005, December 10th, 2005, that this is the home where he died as well. That is not the case. I'm going to take you to that home where Richard Pryor sadly passed away. But this home is so famous because of what happened here. And look at the citrus trees right there. Look at that oranges. This, like I said, it's a huge property. There's the address. It's all over. It's, I mean, you can Google it. It's very well known. Hello, yet another dog. Upset by my, oh, two. Oh boy. That is a fence. Okay. So, Richard Pryor. Free basin cocaine. Set himself on fire. Now, it was June 9th, 1980. I believe his aunt and his bodyguard were here with him at the time. His wife, Jennifer, at the time, had left him because he was in the throes of addiction. Now, I'm going to sh- insert pictures of what the house looks like and the property because it is absolutely stunning on the other side of this fence. He poured 151 proof rum all over himself and lit himself on fire. Now, the Los Angeles police say he was burned by an explosion while freebasing cocaine. Prior, he claimed his injuries were caused by Bernie Rum. Now, he was on fire and he ran down this street until he was subdued by police. He ran for almost a mile down the street. Now, I'm not sure which way he went. Let's say probably that way. So, I want to get smaller. I just drove around the corner. I'm going to guess he went that way, but of course, I, I'm not certain. I'm not sure. He was taken to a hospital. He was treated for second and third degree burns covering more than half of his body. Guys! All right. He spent six weeks in recovery at a hospital here in Sherman, at a burn, burn center here in uh, Encino, Sherman Oaks Hospital. His daughter, Rain Pryor, a star in her own right, stated that the incident happened as a result of a drug induced psychosis. 
His wife Jennifer said, after two weeks of watching him getting addicted to this stuff, I moved out. It was clear the drug had moved in and it had become his lover and everything. I did not exist. Now, they've said it was a suicide attempt. Richard Pryor said that. His wife said that. He was battling some demons at the time. And, of course, he went on, I believe, Johnny Carson afterwards and talked about it. He went on stage and made jokes about it afterwards with, you know, the Richard Pryor sense of humor, talking about what he did and why he did it. And he uh, was definitely, I mean, for lack of a better term, I don't mean it in a... Um, well, he was out of his mind on cocaine, freebasing it, which is the, I mean, freebasing cocaine is get the purest form, uh, you have purest form of cocaine, you heat it up and you inhale the vapors, and it's going to get you high fast and keep you high as you smoke, or sorry, inhale more and more, and you're out of it. And you've been doing it for a long time, and I believe like hours and hours and hours or days but it's right here behind this fence this is, there is a fence here yep yeah, a rock wall there where he did it Richard Pryor now he had a lot of financial troubles and uh, health issues we're gonna get into that because we're going now to the home where he passed away I thought I'd stop here and show you the Richard Pryor burn house here in Encino, California. All right, guys, I'm coming back across the street. Please, just let me do not have a... Okay, can I... A little, oh, jeez. Look at him. He's waiting for me to cross. That one's yappy. That one's the one to look out for, the quiet one. Here we go. See? No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. Hi. Hello. Hi. Oh, my God, you're huge. Buddy, look at the slobber. Clean it up. You're a little nightmare. Oh, you're cute. You're going to kill me. So here I am in the hills of Encino, California. So I'm further south, but going kind of going north up into the Hollywood Hills. And is in this house to my right where Richard Pryor passed away in 2005. He had been diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 1986. Then he had um, quadruple bypass surgery around 1990. And from then on was not a very um, healthy man to say the least and went through a lot of health issues and did some movies and did some appearances. But it was, uh, looked to, like a long, long, uh, drawn out death which is hard on everyone hard on the family hard on uh, his caregivers and of course hard on himself Richard Pryor um, I've seen it happen to family members of my own when they die when they just get sick and when it's long long process and there's nothing harder to watch and we watched Richard Pryor pass away uh, there was updates all the time about his health and pictures coming out. Very, very sad. And it was this house right here where he um, was uh, found unresponsive in the morning and taken to a nearby hospital where he was pronounced dead, but he died in this house here. So I told you a little bit about Richard Pryor's health problems. I'll tell you more now leading into his death. In November 1977, after many years of heavy smoking and drinking, Richard had a mild heart attack at age 36. He recovered, resumed performing in January of the following year, and then in 1986, he was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. In 1990, Richard had a second heart attack while in Australia. He underwent triple heart bypass surgery in 1991. Finally, on December 10th, 2005, Richard Pryor had a third heart attack here in Los Angeles at this house. After his wife's failed attempts to resuscitate him, he was taken to a local hospital where he was pronounced dead. His widow Jennifer was quoted as saying, at the end, there was a smile on his face. He was cremated and his ashes were given to his family. His ashes were scattered in the bay at Hana, Hawaii by his widow in 2019. 
It is believed that Richard's fatal heart attack was caused by coronary artery disease that was at least partially brought about by years of cigarette smoking. And that's my video about Richard Pryor. Thank you for watching. Uh, God bless Richard Pryor. He was a trailblazer, like I said, and so funny. And you can watch lots of his old routines and, and stand-up uh, appearances and talk show uh, appearances on uh, YouTube right here. So I suggest you do that. And Superman 3, Superman 3 is, you know, Superman, Superman 2 are awesome. Superman 3, Superman 4, still good. Still Superman. And Richard Pryor, of course, Superman 3. It's hilarious. Love him. All right, thank you for watching, buddy. Peace out.